Today we're going to work on this question. What is 6,905 divided by 34? Let's just do that. So we need to know the times table of 34 and we are solving this question without a calculator. We need to write times table of 34. So I will show you on the side. So 34 times 2, so 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 3 is 6, it's 68. Then 34 times 3, 3 times 4 is 12, 2 goes here, 1 goes on the top. 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10. So I know that 68 is smaller than 69 because we are not taking one digit, we are taking two digits. Therefore, I can write here 2 and then I can write 68 under 69. Then I will subtract. I have one remainder here. Then I will bring down the next digit, which is 0. Now still, 10 is smaller than 34. Therefore, I can bring down the next digit, which is 5. Since I have two digits, I can write 0 here. Now, I can try 34 times 4 and see that number is greater than 105 or smaller than 105. 4 times 4 is 16, 6 goes here, and 1 goes here. 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1 is 13. So 34, I can tell from here, is 136 is greater than 105. So we're going to go back to 34 times 3. So I will write 3 here, and it's 102. We will subtract. 5 take away 2 is Three, and we can write 6,905 divided by 34 is equal to 203, remainder 3. Therefore, the answer is C. Now we're going to be working on this question, which is what is 17.86 divided by 0 0.19? So I will write this question down here. We know that we cannot work with decimals when it comes to division. So what I will do is I will write it down properly because we are not using a calculator for this question as well. I can say 0 0.19. Now we need to remove the decimal. So in order to remove the decimal, for the number in the numerator, which is this one, if I remove the decimal, what I can do is in the denominator, I can write 100 because there are two digits after the decimal. Now I don't have that decimal. If I remove the decimal from the denominator number, I will write 100 in the numerator. We always write on the opposite position. So here we have we're going to remove this. I will write 100 here. So if it's if the number is in the denominator, we're going to write, when we remove the decimal, we write 10, 100,000, so on, in the numerator. When the number is in the numerator, we will write the base 10 into the denominator. Now I will cancel out. I can tell from here that 100 and 100 will cancel out. Therefore, I have a number which is 1,786 without a decimal because we removed the decimal and wrote 100 divided by 19. Now we have two numbers, which is 1,786 in the numerator. Another one is 19 in the denominator. We can do the long division from here. So I will write the number first and 19 outside. That means we need to think about times table of 19. So 19 times 2. So 2 times 9 is 18. 
goes here. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. So 38. So now if I will take two digits, which is 17, it's still smaller than 19. So I have to take three digits, which is 178. And then I can do the multiplication more. 9 times 3 will give me 57. I can go more. 9 times 4 is 36, so 3 goes here, 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 is 7. From here I can tell the numbers are still smaller, so I can think of a bigger number. So I can say 19 times 8, if I do that, 9 times 8 is 72, 7 goes here, 8 times 1 is 8 and when I add 7 will give me 152 and we are getting close to 178. Let's just try one more number, 19 times 9. 9 times 9 is 81, 1 goes here, 8 goes here, 9 times 1 is 9 and we're going to add 8 which will, which will give me 17 which is 17. And I can see 171 is kind of close to 178. So we're going to be using a that number. So I will write here 9 and I have 171. Then we're going to subtract. 8 take away 1 will give me 7. And I will bring down 6 here. So I have 76. Again, we're going to think about times table of 19, which we have it on the side. And I can see I have 76 here. So I can say 19 times 4 will give me 76. And again, I'm going to subtract, which will give me remainder as 0. So if you want to double check your answer, if your answer is correct or not, what you can do is you can check by multiplying 19 with 94 which should give you 1786. Now we're going to be working on the third question which is what number is represented by this expanded form. So the expanded form is given we're going to be writing as a standard form. It means we need to add them together. Before that what I will do is I will first write, I will multiply these two numbers. I get 3 followed by 6 zeros. And when I multiply 2 with this number, which is 10,000, so it will give me 20,000. When I multiply 7 with 1000, it will give me 7000. When I multiply 9 with 100, it will give me 900. When I multiply 6 by 10, it will give me 60. When I multiply 8 by 1, it will give me 8. So I'm getting these numbers from the question. So the first one, second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth. Now I have six numbers here. I can add them together. Before we start adding, we need to write them properly. So I'm going to be showing you how to write properly on the side. So the first one I will take is the first number we have here. Then the second number we're going to take, we always start writing the numbers when we have so many zeros from the right side. So I will start this 0, 0, 0, 0, and 2. So we are done with the second one. Then the third number I'm going to start writing from the right side. I have three zeros and then I have seven. Then the fourth number we have two zeros and then we have nine. The second last number is 60. So I will write zero and then six. The last number is 8 or the digit is 8. Now I can add them together starting from the right side. 8, 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 6 
is that. Then we have nine. Then we have seven, two. Then we have zero here, then three. So that looks like the answer is B. So we're going to put a check mark or fill that up. So that's how we solve when the expanded form is given and you have to write in the standard form. Write the steps like that and then show the adding on the side and then we get the answer for the multiple choice questions. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel and like this video. Thank you.